Well, hello there. Today we are going to talk about the book The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Choksi. This is a story about a bridegroom who never has a name throughout this whole story, but he's not the most important thing in this story. The focus of this story is this character named Indigo Castaneda. She marries this man and she asks him to please never, ever, ever, ever look into her past. Which brings up visions of all the fairy tales and lore of past, you know, Bluebeard telling his wives to never look in this one door, because when they do, they find all the heads of his other wives, and then they join them. <laughs> So there's all these stories interlaced through that. Indigo comes from a very wealthy family, owns these chain of hotels, and the hotels all have like fairy tale esque themes. And she meets this man because she, she has these documents that he wants to look at that are very rare. And this man, when he was younger, he had a brother, and he has very clear memories of his brother who one day just up and disappeared. And they used to talk about and play and like go into this wardrobe and pretend they were going to the land of fairy. And one day the brother disappears and he's like, hey, ma, where's uh, baby Jed? I don't I don't know what the brother's name was. I don't think they ever said it. And the mother's like, you don't have a brother. So his whole life, he's been searching for the impossible. He's like, did I have a brother or did he disappear somewhere into like some strange land? Indigo has this mysterious allure about her. And so, yeah, she says, please, you know, never look into my past. And he doesn't really have too many reasons to until one day they find out that her aunt is dying and they need to return to her old house called the House of Dreams. And the house almost seems to have like emotions and responds to people as if it's alive. So you have these like weird magical elements. And as you get there, you learn about this other girl named Azur, who also seemed to have mysteriously disappeared right after the graduation. And Azur was Indigo's best friend. And as you get more into the story, it seems that Indigo is kind of a butthole and not this lovely person after all. They used to go to this other world, they called it, where they would, you know, have tea and talk of things that were fantastical and about how they would go to the realm of fairy and all this. So there's a lot of like this interwoven into the story. And one day, Zor disappears. And the dying aunt actually says to the bridegroom, which is what he's only known through throughout the story, that like two girls went to this one place and one disappeared. And he's, she's like, find Azur. And so obviously he's, he's going to look into the family background. And it's hard not to when you're thrown into that with all the stuff there waiting to be discovered. And it's a story of that. And it's a story of like seeing who his wife really is and delving into the past and some of it's like it's twisted and the imagery is very vivid and luscious and messed up <laughs> and i i really enjoyed it it was a very entertaining story it held my interest i read it really quickly I liked the way the writing was. It had some like sad emotional parts and you see like the weird twisted psyche of Indigo and the characters and living in this weird fantasy world, you know, especially when the one girl has all this money. And Azur, a little bit about Azur too, was Azur came from this poor family and they became friends and immediately they became like two halves of one soul and you know you complete me and all that stuff and they were the best of friends and just kind of strange you get a look into their lives because you have like the flashbacks too of like when azure was still there with indigo and what they did in their times together and this that and the other and it was a good story it was definitely entertaining i like the writing i like the characters now i didn't think it was a five star read but i thought it was pretty darn good if you like weird twisted kind of like magical without being super magical. I don't, I don't really know how to fully explain that well, but definitely an entertaining and fun story. So if you're a fan of like dark fairy tale type stories, the next video coming up will be another video about that. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.